Hello and welcome back to another show. I'm Sid and in today's video I'm going to be going over very quickly how to create this simple lipstick filter that you can use uh, on Instagram and Facebook. It's quite easy, uh, just requires Spark AR Studio and any photo editing software that allows you to export PNG files. Sorry for maybe how quiet I'm talking and also just how low quality this video might be. I'm still staying with family for Christmas so I'm trying to not bother people while I do this. Uh, but yeah, obviously this photo might look a little bit silly because I'm a dude with a beard, but you know, you can adjust it, change the color, adapt it, and make it look pretty much however you like. With that said, let's get straight into it and create a new project. First thing we're gonna wanna do is add a face mesh to our scene, and then add our material layer, which is down here. Now we'll come over to GIMP, which is our photo editing software. Photoshop is fine too, uh, it's just a little bit expensive and I don't really care. This works fine. Uh, as you can see, I've already made the lips. This is the one from the filter over here. Ah, beautiful. So if I just hide this layer for now, you can see I'm using the masculine face mask and the face mesh with red tracking dots, which are available in the Spark AR reference assets pack. Links to all of the software and everything I'm using will be in the description down below. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now is create a new layer on top of these after you've dragged them into your project. Now we have our layer, we've got lipstick, so I'll zoom in on that. As you can see, I've already traced around here with the free select tool. Oh, damn it. Uh oh, what have I done? Okay, but I will. No, what have I done? Oh no, this is all falling apart. Okay, so I'll make those visible, make that visible, make that invisible, add a new layer. Lipstick, which goes above this. And then I will just very quickly get rid of that so I can show you from scratch. So you wanna select this, which is your free select tool, which allows you to draw lines around objects. Because of the way this is set up with the mesh, it's quite easy to trace around the lips. You want to make sure that you get all of them. Not too important about those ones in the middle. You just want to make sure that you've got around the edge. Obviously, if you want two different shades, then you can separate them out. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're keeping it simple, stupid. So yeah, now that you've got your outline, you can adjust slightly if you think anything needs to be tweaked. Maybe pull it down, you don't want any of, uh, you don't want lipstick on your teeth or on, you know, just generally whatever makeup etiquette people follow. So now we'll go over to our brush tool and we'll reduce the size a little bit, maybe down to like 20, 30, something like that. Uh, first thing I usually do is add a little bit of white just underneath this little, just a little that you get some brightness underneath. Uh, obviously I'm not super great at this. And then what we'll do is we'll choose a new color. Uh, how about a nice orange? How about that? How about that? And then we come in here with our orange and we just add some little bits in and draw over some of the white. It's not even a big deal. You can be as messy as you like at this stage because you really can't. Look, I can fully color this in. And it doesn't really matter. So we, we won't do that there. But we'll go like this. We'll get some of this color down. And then we'll switch it out for maybe a slightly, uh, slightly more yellow. I don't know. These are going to be some weird lips, but whatever. When you finally finish it and export it, you want not so much white. Uh, but yeah, once you've got a little bit of a covering, you want to come over here to this little pointing finger, which is the smudge tool. And what that allows you to do is blur, I'll do it extreme to show you, but it allows you to blur whatever's on the layer that you've just painted. So we'll back out of that. And then basically you just want to blend these colors a little bit. Nothing too major. Uh, but yeah, keep it. I honestly don't really like this color, so I'm gonna switch it back. Go a little bit darker again. Mask over some of. Oh, mask over some of this. 
Now, I'm no expert, obviously. You've seen some of these videos. Probably, possibly, I don't know. Some people are watching them, which is cool. Uh, <laughs> and people have even started liking them. So there's not so much engagement, which, uh, you know, I appreciate the comments. Uh, I like people to let me know what they think, because I'm teaching myself a lot of this stuff as I go. And this looks terrible, this is just so damn awful. But that's fine. We can always adjust. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, <laughs> those, that's our lips, which look horrible right now. So we'll just export that as it is, we'll test it and see what it looks like. Uh, that will overwrite the one we already have. No, it won't actually, because this is so bad. Export that. I'm really just showing you the simplest versions of these tutorials. Uh, obviously, if you're better at Photoshop, if you're better at photo editing in general, then you'll be able to make something far superior to me. This is more just a step-by-step -step on how to actually get there. So what we'll do is we'll come back into our project. We'll select the FaceTime camera from over here, which will bring up my beautiful face with the mesh we set up earlier. With the uh, yeah, uh, what we want to do now is we'll, because it's makeup, this standard setting isn't great. So we want to switch the shader type over to face paint, which gives you this sort of ghostly spectre type of look. And then we will choose our texture which in this case is our orange lips and there you go because it's such a small image on my face compared to this in GIMP like zoomed in this looks awful let me just quickly show you like you can see all of the brush strokes you can see where I'm not very good at drawing but if you come over here even though the colors weird and it's not perfect you can oh and my teeth are pretty gross but <laughs> you can uh, you can see that it tracks on nicely and because it's makeup it's even got a slight transparency uh, yeah not really you know there's nothing to there's nothing really else to show you with this one it's very simple you can do this with most makeup you can do it with uh, eyelashes eyebrows that's not makeup you can put blush you could do freckles whatever you feel like as long as you can draw it and you want to use the shader type face paint you can do it so there's our lips nice and orange there's our lips nice and red uh thank you for watching leave a like comment uh tell me how beautiful i am and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> uh i'm gonna try and make a couple more videos today but maybe uh it, it, we'll see it depends how much time i have uh, i gotta upload this one make a thumbnail and stuff and then I gotta go watch uh, Coronation Street. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace. I forgot to add something. So if you're uh, if you export to test on your phone and you find out that and you realise that your image, the lips that you come up with, are kind of blurry, well, there's a way to fix that. It's because the image file is quite small, so the uh, so it gets compressed uh, to a very small file size. You can go down here to textures, lipstick and where it says manual compression just check the box for no compression and that will export it to mobiles without actually compressing this image uh, it doesn't make it look any different on this desktop but when you get to your phone it will make all the difference you can also come up here to edit properties compression and then set the quality to a hundred percent now when you export your file and test it to device like this it should show up uh, without any blur and look just the way that you made it originally sorry i left this until the end hopefully some of you make it this far and <laughs> actually i'm more helpful than i seem i don't know this is rambling and stupid i just wanted to make videos anyway <laughs> peace again bye